Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I wanna to bring you yet another heavy duty comparison. This time I'm using the 2024 Silverado 2500 LT as well as the LTZ trim level. And today we're gonna to find out what the exact differences are between the features, options, and just the exterior styling both inside and out uh, between these two popular trims. So if you guys have been following the channel, then you'll know I did post a 2024 comparison between the GMC Sierra Denali and the Denali Ultimate, which did quite well. And a lot of people did find that video quite helpful. So today I'm gonna try to accomplish the exact same thing using two different trims from the Silverado HD lineup. And again, those are the LT as well as the LTZ, which sits somewhat in the middle or the upper end of the spectrum, depending on how you wanna look at it. The LT is square in the middle of the trim lineup and the LTZ is one step up from that. These are a little bit lower in the trim lineup in terms of those features features. Uh, so there is more available packages and just options as a whole uh, that aren't standard on these two trims than there were on the Denali. So uh, keep that in mind while watching, but we will go over that as best as possible a little bit later in this video. Now, unfortunately, these two trucks aren't as close as I would like them for this comparison, but they aren't too far off either. They're both finished in the Summit white exterior. On my left, I do have a 3500 single rear wheel in the crew cab long bed configuration. And on my right, I do have a 2500 with the crew cab standard bed in the LTZ trim. Uh, so it is a little bit different in that regard, but I will be discussing pricing for crew cab standard bed four wheel drive for both these two trims. So disregard this configuration, uh, but all the features and options on this one is still going to be the same. First start out with the exterior styling differences between these two trucks. You'll see the LT and LTZ both share a lot of chrome exterior accents. So if you're into chrome, uh, that is going to be a standard feature across both these two trims. However, you'll see at the front end, there is a key difference in terms of the exterior styling and one that is kind of the most noticeable uh, here on the LTZ because it does indeed have the new LED animated headlights, which are available as terms of an exterior appearance package on the LT, which we will touch on a little bit later in this video. But starting over here with the LT, this is more of the basic front end mixed with some nice exterior chrome accents. So you have halogen refractor headlights with incandescent turn signals on the upper portion with this body color insert that then fades into the chrome grille that runs across the center section with your gold bow tie, of course. Down below, you will find chrome front and rear bumpers. This particular one does have the convenience package, which we will touch on here in a second, which does feature LED fog lights, which is a nice addition to this particular trim because it does have the halogen reflector headlights, black tow hooks. You do have your lower air dam for better aerodynamics and a little bit of additional fuel efficiency. This one is the Duramax engine option, as is that one, so it is equal in that regard. So these do both have functional hood scoops for cooling and the nice chrome surround with the Chevrolet kind of stamped inside of the plastic trim there. And then your Duramax diesel badge with the Allison transmission up here farther on the hood. And coming over here to the LTZ, this is one of the biggest differences for the exterior design language are going to be in the headlamps themselves. These are the standard animated LED projectors found on the LTZ and higher. Uh, but in terms of the styling, you can see the grill then stops at the edge of the headlamp instead of continuing on in the portion right here, as you can see over here on the LT and some of the lesser trims. There is gonna be more chrome accents on the LTZ for the grill as well as gloss black accents, which do look very nice versus that of the traditional matte black plastic. You still have the gold bow tie. This one does have the 360 camera system uh, with the camera and the little washer nozzle just below the bow tie there. Nice chrome accent and front bumper, just like that of the LT. However, like I said, you will have additional chrome inserts at the lower section here that kind of fades into that air dam. Chrome front recovery hooks, as well as your LED fog lights are still present with the front parking sensors as part of the equipment on this particular truck. So there is gonna be a little bit of difference as far as the front ends go, specifically for the headlights themselves, the bumper and some of the grill designs, but as a whole, they aren't too much different. However, you will find more chrome on the LTZ versus that of the standard LT. Now coming here to the side of these two trucks, this is gonna be another difference for the exterior or cosmetic aspects of these two trim levels. Now starting out with the wheels and tires, these two actually have the identical 18 inch silver painted alloy wheel. The only difference is that this is the standard entry level wheel on the LTZ, where it is an optional wheel on the LT. So these are wrapped in LT 275, 70, 18 inch Michelin heavy duty all-terrain tires. So a good mix of on and off-road performance, as well as of course the heavy towing capabilities uh, that these trucks can do. The LTZ will come standard with the power folding auto dimming mirrors finish in the chrome exterior accent with your LED turn signal on the outside. They are power folding as well as power extension, LED auxiliary lighting, 
as well as your puddle lamps down below. And like I said, this one does have the 360 camera system, which you will find right there. And taking a look at this particular LT, these are gonna be the standard trailering mirrors here with the Duramax engine option. So they are the matte black plastic trim with your LED turn signal integration here on the outside. It does not have the LED auxiliary lighting nor the auto dimming uppers. And it does not of course have the puddle lights or the camera systems because this truck does not have those options. So this is the standard mirror. You can get the auto dimming power folding as an additional option. And I believe that does come with the LED auxiliary lighting and the puddle lights down below. Uh, for an additional charge on this particular truck, but this is the entry level mirror option. Now continuing on the side of the truck, you can see the chrome door handles with the proximity entry on the front. That is gonna be the same across both the trucks. The only difference is going to be the chrome door handle accents as well as the chrome belt line trim across the side. And you do have gloss black B and C pillars uh, versus that of the traditional matte black plastic over here on the LT. So you can see the difference, body color door handles still have proximity entry, matte black plastic B and C pillar trim with the black belt line molding there. So a lot less chrome on this particular truck when you look at the side of the vehicle versus that of the LTZ, which does have a lot of nice bright work to it. And it is worth mentioning that this particular truck does have the power running boards with the perimeter lighting option. That is a very hefty pricey option at over $2,000. But if you want the power running boards, then that is definitely worth getting. And it makes getting in and out of the truck that much easier uh, where this truck does not have any running boards on it. But of course, that is an additional accessory you can pick at any time. Now coming along the side, like I said, disregard that this is an eight foot long bed. You still have the integrated side step on both of these two trucks. The same wheel setup, like I mentioned. This one does not have the rear wheelhouse liners, but that is available as a protection packages or an additional accessory as a standalone option. Where the LTZ over there does come standard with the carpeted wheelhouse liners, protects the bed itself from any mud, dirt, debris that might, might get up there if you do take this truck off-road or off the beaten path or anything like that. And finally, coming out back, we do have a few more differences as well. Now, both the trucks will have the chrome rear bumper. This particular one does have the rear parking sensors, LTZ badge on the tailgate, uh, but the main difference is gonna be in the lighting as well as the functionality of the tailgate itself. So you have the standard LED animated taillights, not available at all on the LT trim. Chevrolet stamped in the tailgate. You do have your LED perimeter lighting, backup camera, electronic release. And other differences, this is going to be a power up down tailgate. So it is going to be motorized versus that of just the regular electronic release that has the soft open function over there on the LT, which we will take a look at here in a second. So that is gonna be another big difference. Standard power up down tailgate. And one last thing to mention is I guess this one does have the camera hookups for the infotainment system and the optional uh, accessory trailer cameras. So you can plug those in right here with your seven pin down below. And over here out back of the LT, like I mentioned, incandescent lighting, that is the only one available for the tail lights here on the LT. So this is your backup. Uh, turn signal and brake lights are the rest of the portion. Same overall exterior design, it does appear. Same chrome bumper, like I mentioned, this one does not have the rear parking sensors uh, that is available. Side step integrated, of course, same Chevrolet stamped into the tailgate. Still has your lighting out back with the rear backup camera and the same electronic release. However, this one is just the standard electronic lease with the soft open function. But of course you can get the power up down tailgate on the LT um, as an additional option package or part of an equipment group, uh, depending on how you option your truck. So before we go any further in this video, I do wanna mention the exact window stickers on both trucks, even though we will be discussing pricing for specific trim levels and option packages a little bit later. Uh, anyways, the LT in this video does have the Duramax diesel engine option, the convenience package one, the remote start package, the heat package, the upfitter switch insulation kit, the LED roof marker lights, as well as the backup alarm calibration for a total MSRP of $69,175. Now moving over to the LTZ, this is a fairly well-equipped LTZ actually, so it does have quite a few options. Uh, but anyways, it does have the Duramax diesel, the LTZ premium package, which includes the convenience package one and a lot of additional equipment. It does also have the power retractable assist steps, like I mentioned, for just under $2,300. The Z71 off-road and protection package, the power sunroof, the gooseneck fifth wheel package, the chrome recovery hooks, as well as the max trailering package, 
for a total MSRP of $81,965. So now I wanna discuss some of the interior differences between the two trucks, specifically here on the 2024 refresh interior. So starting out here on the regular LT, the main difference you're gonna notice as far as the materials go is that the LT comes standard with the cloth seating surfaces versus that of the leather on the LTZ. Here on the door panel, you still have a lot of nice soft touch materials here on the upper section, the armrest, as well as this lower section with some black accent stitching. Here is the brown accent wood with the chrome that runs into the door handle itself. Still have power windows, mirrors, and locks with automatic driver window. No power folding mirrors as standard, but again, that is optional with the auto dimming mirror package. This particular one does have the vinyl floors. However, the carpeted floors are going to be standard or available as a no charge option rather. You have the silver accent door sill plate. This particular truck does have the convenience package, which includes the power driver's seat with two-way power lumbar. And there is the standard cloth seating surfaces. This one is the black interior. So here on the inside, like I said, this interior with the digital gauge cluster and the large 13.4 inch HD color touchscreen is on the LT and higher. So uh, if you get a custom or a work truck, you will not have this interior. But anyways, starting out here with the steering wheel, this is going to be standard leather wrapped. It is heated as part of the heat package. You do have paddles on the back to control the radio infotainment volume and tune. Column shift truck, however, a center console is available on the LT if you would like it for an additional charge. To the left of the steering wheel, you'll find your electronic parking brake, two speed transfer case, four high, four low, two high, drive mode select, dedicated trailering as well. And there's your exterior lighting, including the automatic headlights, fog lights, bed lighting, and gauge illumination. Nice soft touch dashboard with the accent stitching as well. A little bit of additional storage space. This particular truck doesn't have any heads up display as that is not available on the LT. It does have the red indicator light for the safety systems to flash up on the windshield to alert you uh, when it is actually functioning and trying to avoid something. But in terms of the infotainment system itself, really not a big difference there. Exhaust brake, lane keeping assist, there's your uh, tailgate release, hazard button, traction control off, some physical controls for the infotainment system, standard trailer brake controller as well. There's your heated seats as part of the heat package and the dual zone automatic climate control as part of the convenience one package. There's your outfitter switches down below that. This doesn't have the center console like I mentioned, so it is a six passenger configuration. It does have some lockable storage down here in this lower section. Up top, you do have the gray headliner. It is kind of a medium gray, so not too dark, not too light. There's your manual dimming interior rear view mirror, OnStar passenger airbag, interior overhead LED lighting, which is very handy. And this one does not have a sunroof, nor does it have the power sliding rear window, but it does have rear window defrost with the uh, tinted rear windows. So here in the back, this one is still a crew cab configuration. So same, uh, no matter if you get the short or the long bed, materials do follow through in the back. So you have soft touch upper section of the door panel with the same wood accent and silver trim. There's your standard cloth seats. This one does not have the storage that is only available with the leather package on the LT, as well as the center armrest with the cup holders. Seats do flip up for additional storage space if you wanna put something here on the nearly flat floor. Uh, there is a lot of interior volume available in these crew cab trucks. And out back here on this LT, you do have AC vents, USB charging, as well as a 120 volt wall outlet. Now quickly take a look at the bed. This one does not have a spray and bed liner or anything, but it does have the convenience package, which includes the 120 volt, 400 watt outlet and the LED cargo lighting, which includes the lights on the left and right hand side, as well as the top lights up there near the third brake light. But as a whole, this is just the standard bed, no fifth wheel or anything, but of course that is available across the trim lineup with these heavy duty trucks. And briefly touching on the passenger front seat, this is gonna be another difference between these two trucks is that here on the LT, there is not an option or availability at all of a power passenger seat. So this is just a standard four-way manual seat, no height adjustment whatsoever. And here's a better look at the passenger side dashboard. It does still have the dual glove box compartments with the upper and lower section. Uh, very good amount of storage space and both these trucks will have that functionality. So no real difference there, but the power passenger seat is not available at all with the LT. Now let's go ahead and jump over to the LTZ. Big difference is that the LTZ and higher comes standard with the leather seating surfaces. This is the black, obviously, uh, but the LT does come available with the leather package if you would like it for an additional charge. Here on the door panels, you do get the mostly the same soft touch materials. 
You do have a slightly different gray accent wood trim here with these silver accents that run into the memory seats for the power driver seat. It does have power folding and power extension mirrors, like I mentioned, as standard equipment. And it does also have the automatic front two windows uh, versus that of only the driver's side over there in that LT. Bose premium audio system with the chrome accent trim. Bose is not available on the LT at all, no matter how you equip the truck. Same power driver seat, so it is still a 10-way power driver seat with two-way power lumbar. But like I said, the leather seating surfaces are a nice upgrade if you are into that sort of stuff versus that of the standard cloth. So here on the inside, you're gonna find the same overall dashboard layout with the same new technology, digital gauge cluster, 13.4 inch HD color touchscreen radio, but you will have some more features and buttons here specifically in this area, as well as to the left of the steering wheel. So starting out, this is the same leather wrap steering wheel that is going to be heated. It does have forward collision avoidance assist, the standard GM safety systems. However, the way this one's equipped, it does also add adaptive cruise control, uh, which is available on the LT as well as part of a equipment group. There's your automatic high beam assist. This does also have rain sensing wipers as standard. To the left of the steering wheel, you do have a few more buttons as well. Electronic parking brake, uh, automatic transfer case selection that is available on the LT. Uh, but it does have four high, four low, two high, auto, and there's your drive mode and dedicated trailering or tow haul mode. Perimeter lighting, LED bed lighting, automatic headlights, LED fog lights, all that stuff is going to be the same. The main difference there is going to be the automatic mode on the transfer case. There's your heads up display controls just above that. So I'll see if you guys can see that out there. Very handy to have for those that actually like it. It is a color display. Moving over here to the infotainment system, same screen like I mentioned. Just below that, you do have a few more buttons for the features that this truck has. Exhaust brake, lane keeping assist, here's your parking sensors on off. There's your up down tailgate, so you can hold this button to raise and lower the tailgate, which is very nice. Hazard button, traction control off, and it does have a hill descent control button over here on the far right side. Same darker gray wood accent trim, so that's the main difference. Uh, but outside of that, the dashboard is all soft touch up here as well. Same dual zone automatic climate control, heated and ventilated front seats in this truck. The ventilated seats are going to be optional, and if you do want those, you do have to get an LTZ or higher, as that is not available on any lesser trims. There's your same USB ports on the side. Like I mentioned, the center console with a good amount of storage, cup holders, and moving over here to the center console, this is a little bit softer. It is all leather wrapped and stitched. Inside, you will have a wireless charging pad here in the front, which you can slip your phone in and out of. There's your 120 volt wall outlet relocated up here instead of in the back seat. USB charge ports, and of course, a ton of storage inside with a little LED lamp. Up top, you do actually have the same medium gray headliner. You have Vandy illumination for the mirrors on the visors. There's your rear camera mirror. You can adjust this to be auto dimming only like this. Or of course, you do have the digital functionality via these buttons right here. OnStar passenger airbag, overhead LED lighting. This does have a power sunroof, home link functionality, and a power sliding rear window. So that's always handy to have if you do like a little bit of extra ventilation inside the cabin, is that power rear sliding window. And here is your power sunroof. You don't really see that too, too often on heavy duty trucks, uh, but that is a nice addition and a standalone option here on this particular LTZ. Now taking a look at the back, the biggest difference is gonna, gonna be the seating surfaces as the door panels are gonna be largely the same with the soft touch upper section. There's the leather seating surfaces. You can see this one does have the storage pockets in the back as well as the center armrest with cup holders included. Seats do still flip up and have a little bit of additional storage below them. And here in the back, the center console layout is gonna be a little bit different. Cup holders at the top. This one does have the premium package with the heated second row seats, USB charge ports, and your AC vents are gonna be located a little bit higher up on the center console versus that near uh, on the floor. I really do like them located a little bit higher as it is closer to the occupants in the rear. So any cold air blowing out of them are gonna be uh, just a little bit closer to that of the rear occupants like I mentioned, instead of being located near the floor. Same map pockets on both of the seats. There's your center console, or center armrest, excuse me, with the two cup holders inside. Power sliding rear window with the same defrost function. And overall headroom is gonna be the same as well via this cutout or scallop in the uh, headliner itself, despite having the sunroof option. Uh, so as a whole, no real difference here in the back seats. The leather seats are very plush on the seat bottoms. Um, overall, I would say I like the leather just a little bit more versus that of the cloth. 
Uh, but overall, both trucks are extremely roomy here in the back seats with the crew cab option. And uh, other than the certain amenities only available on the LTZ or higher, they really aren't too different. It does have the bed liner on this one and the fifth wheel attachment as well, which does give you the wiring provisions here on the left side. LED cargo lights. There's your 120 volt wall outlet as well. You do have the camera system up there near the third brake light, as well as your LED bed lighting as well. So uh, that functions as not only the bed camera for the bed itself, but also the rear view camera is operated out of one of those cameras, uh, which is a little bit different. Uh, but my biggest like about the bed is going to be the power up down tailgate, as I find that to be a little bit handy if you don't want to get out of the truck to raise the tailgate. Uh, you can obviously do that here on the interior or with the key fob. Like I mentioned over there, the biggest difference on the passenger side of things is going to be the inclusion of a power passenger seat, same 10-way adjustments, so as height adjustment, two-way lumbar adjustment, and again, this is only available on the LTZ or higher. And one last aspect I do want to touch on before we conclude this video or get into the features and options that are different between these two trims is the fact that you can get both of these trucks in both the 6.6 liter gas as well as the 6.6 liter Duramax diesel. So both engines are now paired to a 10 speed Allison transmission for 2024. So there's really no difference between the two uh, in that regards that you can both get the same gas and the same diesel engine options uh, between both the LT and LTZ. So now to wrap up this video, I do want to discuss the features and options that are not available or different between these two trim levels in specific. Now I want to start out with the features that are standard on the LTZ that are not available at all over there on the LT or lower. So those are the animated LED taillights, the power passenger seat 10-way, the driver's seat memory functionality, as well as the rain sensing wipers. Those are all standard on the LTZ and higher, not available at all over there on the LT. So now moving on to the LTZ standard equipment that is going to be optional on the LT as part of several different option packages. So those things are the animated projector LED headlights, the rear interior USB charge ports, the outside power trailering heated and auto dimming upper mirrors, the digital variable assist rack, the two speed active electronic auto track transfer case. So this gives you the automatic uh, transfer case setting to the left of the steering wheel. Both of them will have the two speed transfer case uh, as we saw over there in the LT. The rear window defogger, remote start system, interior auto dimming rear view mirror, the 120 volt power outlet in the cabin and the bed, the power driver seat 10 way with two way power lumbar, heated front seats, the up level seats with the storage in the rear, heated steering wheel, tilt telescopic steering column, LED fog lights, rear wheelhouse liners, and dual zone automatic climate controls. So next I wanna cover the features and options that are gonna be optional on the LTZ and still not available at all over there on the LT. So these are not standard, but additional equipment packages here on the LTZ and higher. Those are the safety alert seat, Bose premium audio, ventilated front seats, the heated second row seats, the front and rear park assist, as well as the full color heads up display. So those are all options on this particular truck that are not available at all on the LT. So my last category of features and options are gonna be options that are optional on both the LT as well as the LTZ. So neither one of these are standard, but they both are available options as part of select option groups. Those are things like the HD surround vision camera system, rear cross traffic alert, center console, the bed view camera, the spray in or drop in bed liners, universal home remote, the power sliding rear window, wireless charging pad, LED cargo area lighting, adaptive cruise control, rear camera mirror, and the trailer and camera provisions located near the seven pin connector in the rear bumper uh, that display here on the infotainment screen itself. So these are all options across both these two trim levels. It might be a little bit different in terms of the option packages in which you need to get these options, uh, but just note that these are all a full list of options available on both trims. So now, like I promised, I do wanna wrap up this video with the pricing information. And this is a little bit tricky because like I said, there are some options that are gonna be different or as part of different convenience packages on these two trucks. So there's a lot of additional standard equipment here on the LTZ that is either optional or not available over there on the LT. But anyways, to touch on pricing, an LTZ crew cab four wheel drive Duramax with only the convenience package one is gonna be priced right around $74,365, including destination. Now when you spec out an LT Duramax, same crew cab, short box, four wheel drive configuration, uh, with the convenience package one and two, 
the heat package, the remote start, as well as the interior leather package, which gives you roughly the same amount of equipment or as close as possible as the truck I'm currently sitting in. That comes in right at or just under $70,000, including destination. So there's gonna be roughly a $4,500 price difference between the two trucks. Like I said, um, LTZ with convenience package one or an LT with convenience package one and two, heat, remote start, and leather packages. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Like I said, this was a little bit more challenging than that of the GMC Sierra Duramax uh, Denali and Denali Ultimate videos I did uh, because those are the two upper trims. There's really not a lot of options and features um, even on the standard Denali that you can get in addition to the base standard equipment on that truck. And the Denali is the equivalent of the Chevy High Country, believe it or not. And the LTZ is still below that of the standard GMC Sierra Denali. So do keep that in mind while watching or considering these trucks is that the GMC Sierra Denali is the equivalent of a high country Silverado heavy duty and the Denali Ultimate, there is not equivalent one here in the Silverado heavy duty lineup, unfortunately, as that does have several exclusive options and features uh, that are simply not available at all in the Silverado heavy duty lineup. So hopefully you guys enjoyed once again. If you did find this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button below. It greatly helps out the channel and these videos. Make sure to check out some other content I have here on the channel and subscribe if you guys are not already subscribed. So once again, I appreciate the support here on the channel. Let me know all that down in the comment section below. And as always, hope to see you guys in the next one.